Good morning and welcome to the tour room. It's uh, Sunday morning, still in lockdown. And I'll be honest, it was a little bit tough for me the couple of few days because there's quite a few things that you have to work through and, and you're thinking on who should, when am I going to go back to work, when I'm going to earn an income again. And uh, these things play on you. And um, the um, scripture that I read this morning is Psalms 46. Um, quite a while ago, I was invited to a men's group, and I, um, I used this as a in in that talk I had with them. And uh, it's a quite a fascinating uh, Psalms that that was written those years. And um, the coronavirus effect that we have now is nothing as what is described in this uh, psalm. Um, and I'll read the first few verses and then uh, verse 10, I'll, I'll link up to it. But uh, please read through this psalms a few times and, and get that understanding, get, get what's the message uh, that comes through here. But um, God is our refuge and our strength. Uh, every present help in trouble and that we all know but here comes this pass therefore we will not fear though the earth give away and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea though the water roar and foam and the mountains quake with the siege that's quite scary i mean really the if you think the earth suddenly giving away and a whole mountain just drops into the sea. And those stories of the tsunamis and that there will be a Mickey Mouse. Uh, I can guarantee you that. And But the psalmist keeps writing on and says there's a river in a holy city. And uh, I believe he was referring to the spring that was close to the temple um, in Jerusalem. But the, the uh, message coming through to me is that us, we're not, we're not in Jerusalem. We, we're far apart from Jerusalem. We're far away from that river. But because of Jesus that died on the cross, the river was brought to us. And we can go to that river. And it says that place will be restored. That place will not be harmed. But the actual thing that I want to link to is verse 10 that says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. And it is so true. Um, the thing that I want to share is that Going through this couple of days, you, you get a turmoil inside of you. And there's actually not a lot of noise there. And a lot of things start jumping up and giving you advice and that. And the only time you will really get peace is when you put on the brake, climb out, go to this room where I am, isolate yourself and really become still and start to feel the presence of God. And then you will understand, just going back again to Job 42, where Job went through a whole process to say, up to now I've, I've heard, heard about you, meaning read the scriptures, people were talking, and we were sharing it, the word, but now I've seen you. I've really seen you and I've added and tasted you because the stuff that you're going through is, is a, a senseless feeling that you go through and this is real to you right now but God says I will be exalted and all nations in all nations meaning all the nations will say glory to God um, I'm going to pray Please take courage. Please stand firm in the Lord. Grab hold to Him. Use the scriptures. If you don't have words and it's not difficult, you can't just go to a brother and say, come, let's pray together. Use the scripture. Read the scriptures. 
listen to praise and worship music. Isolate yourself in front of God and taste Him again. Be blessed in Jesus' name.